The lawyer for the woman accusing Patrick Kane of sexual assault said evidence was tampered with. Now her attorney said an empty evidence bag, which he said had contained the rape kit, was left in the doorway of the woman's mother's home. The Hamburg Police and Erie County Central Police Services in New York said all evidence has been accounted for and handled correctly. Kane's lawyer said that he welcomes an investigation of the bag incident since results of the DNA testing favor his client. No charges has been filed in this case yet. Kane went to training camp with the Blackhawks a week ago and made his preseason debut on Tuesday. Now, this isn't the first time Kane has run into legal issues. In August of 2009, Kane and his cousin were arrested in Buffalo after an altercation with a cab driver. Stephen A., are you okay with Kane playing during this investigation? No, I am not. But it would happen to be because of the absence of an uproar over Patrick Kane. Now, let me be very, very clear. To my knowledge, he has not been charged. We understand that. He has not been he charged. Has, he has not been charged. Yes. That is entirely different from Ray Rice, who was charged. It is entirely different from Greg Hardy, who was charged. Mm -hmm. um, but to me, that's a legal issue as it pertains to law enforcement and what have you. My indictment is not against them. It would be against Patrick Kane if he is guilty of such acts. Yeah. He definitely needs to be in jail. If he is innocent of such allegations, then my apologies for even bringing up this subject because it puts him in a national spotlight even more so. And if he is innocent, he doesn't deserve that. If he is innocent. Having said that, my issue pertains to this. The National Hockey League, men's tennis, the PGA have no domestic violence, violence policies whatsoever. But everybody was up in arms when Ray Rice and Greg Hardy went down. Major League Baseball, which was sparked by the whole Ray Rice fiasco, suddenly implemented its own domestic violence policy. But according to numerous reports, Numerous major leaguers over the years have been accused of or charged with domestic violence. And in the last quarter century, however, none has been punished on a league level. So let's add Major League Baseball to that list. Okay. Major League Baseball, even though they have a policy, mm -hmm. okay, didn't have one. No league level, you know, uh, you know, ramifications came down on players or managers, by the way. Okay, because Bobby Cox, formerly of the Atlanta Braves, yeah. certainly had his issues. Nothing with the PGA, nothing with, with tennis, nothing with the National Hockey League. Does anyone see a pattern here? These are predominantly white-dominated sports. But when it comes to the National Football League and when it comes to the National Basketball Association, everybody is up in arms talking about there's an epidemic going on. Let's address it. Now, let me be very, very clear. I am a black man unapologetically I have never been involved in domestic violence in my life I have never put my hands on a woman in my entire life and I'm here to vouch for a vast majority of players in the National Football League and the National Basketball Association who happen to be black who have never done such things but when you see the few incidences that have taken place and you see the uproar and you see a nation standing up and saying this is a problem that we have to address to the point where Roger Goodell's job was supposed to be on the line until the owner stepped up and said we think he's doing a fine job compelling Adam Silver to then step in and to make sure that something was implemented as it pertained to that and that was publicized you had a, two leagues in a, in, a Nash, in a United States of America that had to stand up front and center and say this is a definitely an issue that we will address we have given it the attention that it deserves but you have a guy who is a star in the National Hockey League who is being accused of such things not charged I understand that but is being accused of such things and I don't see an uproar I don't see, you know, I, I'm not saying it hasn't been reported. ESPN has reported it on SportsCenter. Yeah. Various publications have written about it. I'm talking about the public yep. uproar mm -hmm. when it comes to this. And I'm going to repeat this again. The National Hockey League, the Tennis Association, the PGA, and until recently, Major League Baseball. Predominantly white sports. 
little to nothing going on here. We even have Gary Bettman on the record, Skip Bayless, on the record. Talk, I got to find this quote right here because that said last September, Commissioner Gary Bettman for the National Hockey League took an active stance against domestic violence and sexual assault while speaking in Toronto. In yeah. the months since, he has expressed no interest in negotiating a domestic violence policy and a sexual assault policy with the NHL Players Association. And then the last paragraph of this article that I'm reading talks about Bettman has assured fans in the media that no new policy is needed because, quote, our players know what is right and wrong. That's his statement, and he gets away with this. Mm. What are we trying to say here? When people look around and they see a bunch of black men who have a problem with the society that we live in, when they see a bunch of black men who are talking about and alluding to the prevalence of racism, these are the kind of things that give those thoughts credence mm -hmm. because we're seeing stuff that's implemented disproportionately and that's the problem if this is good for the national football league and it's good for the nba and black players are being labeled with insinuations and beyond because of the actions of a few how did major league baseball get away with this all of these years how are we not talking more about patrick kane how is it that the national hockey league the players you know the tennis association and the pga have no policy whatsoever and did you wonder why black folks get upset and they say, oh, my Lord, maybe racism is still alive and well. Think about it. That's all I got to say. Hmm. Wow. Well, I say amen to much of what you said. I appreciate that you did point out hasn't been charged. And just the only point of order I have in the bigger context is, did you have a problem with Jameis Winston being allowed to play at Florida State? He was not charged, remember, as they were investigating? Right. He, he continued to play games. Well, he he proclaimed his innocence, so I didn't have a problem with it because my whole point is, again, I'm not questioning the legalities and how the legal system chooses to handle something. Okay. What I'm questioning, even more so than the institutions, I'm questioning the public uproar. Jameis Winston you was in the news all the time. He wasn't charged, though, that there wasn't the uproar. Because I sat in the meeting, just so you know, production meeting, you weren't in, mm -hmm. Skip was there, and I said, how have we not covered this? And then one of our producers said he wasn't charged. Mm -hmm. And my thinking was same with you. Why is he being protected? Mm -hmm. They said he wasn't charged. I think it's a why. fair. First of all, in, fa so in if favor of you, if he was, would there be an uproar? In favor of you, the producers and white folks across this country, it's a legitimate question, and I understand that. I'm talking about the public outcry okay. because the mere insinuation in this day and age seems to create an uproar, but it seems more prevalent when it comes to young black males. Yep. And that is what I am saying. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I'm not talking about how it's handled in terms from a legal perspective. Mm -hmm. I do understand that. And institutions and franchises to some degree have to protect itself. But the leagues could do something if mm -hmm. they were so inclined. But the NFL and the NBA feels compelled. Major League Baseball just follow suit after a quarter century of they doing did. nothing. And we've got three major organizations that haven't done anything. That's a problem. Clearly, hockey is living in the past here hasn't caught up to the times in in part because there hasn't been the outcry that you talk about the outrage but why is that in the larger issue well clearly hockey in the united states is it fair to say is not as popular as football basketball and baseball That's fair. right so has there been some outrage expressed in the city of Chicago? I think there has. And I think ESPN Sarah Spain has expressed outrage yes. she, publicly. She has, she okay. has and, and I applaud and, her for And that. Christine Brennan wrote about it today That's in what USA we're Today. About the great okay. Christine I know. Brennan. I mean, and, come and, on now. Okay. I, I am so with you. Patrick Kane, should, th there should be a policy in place whereby he was suspended with pay. I'm okay with pay. Suspended with pay through this investigation. Can we make a case that he's getting preferential treatment in his hometown of Buffalo here? You, you could make that case given what you set this up with. Mm -hmm. And her attorney is now said, the vic victim's attorney, the accuser's attorney is saying, that, hey, th this is a classic case of why so many victims are hesitant to come forward the way she's being treated right now. 
I don't know the details of it, but I get all this. That's why there should be a policy in place, and he should have been suspended from the start. But this is this is a hockey problem. This is this. I, I'm not sure it's a race issue as much right now. What we're talking about is a hockey issue. Is that fair to say? Well, not for me, because okay. for, I, I'm not. I don't blame you for taking that position, but not for me, because what. I'm seeing and what a lot of black males are seeing is that to some degree black men could potentially be stereotyped by the actions okay, of Okay, that's fair. So it's I got it. So it's incredibly it. yep. important to I'm us with you. that when something else happens that doesn't involve black men, okay. but it involves criminal activity, that gets highlighted and illuminated just as much so we can understand it is a problem across the board, not just when it's pertaining to okay. young black men because you don't want to give that impression because we got young black men on the come up who are obeying the law and are acting like civilized citizens who are good Absolutely. young men who don't deserve to be stereotyped. Okay, fair enough. Great. Now, help me here, educate me to this question because I don't know the answer to it. What would really be glaring, and since you brought it up, hockey has about 5% of its players are black out of, uh, what is it, 600. So okay. that's uh, 30 out of 600, that's okay. give or take a couple. Okay. okay? I didn't know it was that much, but okay. go ahead. So if... If one of those players had immediately been suspended with pay during an investigation, and then Patrick Kane wasn't suspended during an investigation, you could you, you could certainly cry race there, right? But that hasn't happened. That's not your point, That's right. right? Are you exactly. with me? I'm totally. I mean, that would be glaring. That right. that would just be outrageous within the sport of hockey. I, I'm not accusing hockey of protecting one of its own while throwing another of its own to the wolves. They have obviously, a, 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 you know, an absence of sensitivity to some degree as it pertains to this issue uh, as a league. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I believe that in this day and age, the PGA can be accused of the same thing Absolutely. based on the fact that they have no policy Absolutely. and the ATP. What I'm trying to say, however, is this. As a black man, we recognize that it's hard out there, particularly when the actions of a few potentially take the many and contribute to stereotypes we already believe was in existence for decades, if not longer. Mm -hmm. So when something happens with a Ray Rice or a Greg Hardy or somebody and that get, and a, or a Jameis Winston and that gets blown up and illuminated, but somehow, some way, Patrick Kane doesn't have to deal with the same level of scrutiny. And the excuse is because he's in hockey. You've got folks sitting there saying, well, wait a minute, NFL's predominantly black major and, and national basketball Association is predominantly black okay in, 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 in major league baseball even though there were a lot of white guys that were accused you've got dominicans of a darker skin but primarily it's america's there, there national a whole lot of white guys and it's a whole and, lot of and white at least guys. one white manager there you go and at least okay. one white yes. white one white manager mm -hmm. so you just you just you, you just arrived on the come up in the aftermath of that the ray rice situation and then you have these mm -hmm. relative uh, you know predominantly you. Yep. white sports yep. with no policy yep. let's make sure we understand understand here black folks are watching and they're saying excuse me are they are we doing things and they're not okay or are we just the ones getting caught meaning the few who did while we're glossing over others who have done it my props to christine brennan and sarah spain and all of them for bringing attention to it because it's clearly not a race issue okay but you have people that might interpret it as such when we only hearing black men being talked about okay i i Fair love enough. what you said this is a major reason I love doing this show with you, that you have the courage to step up to that plate and take that kind of stand. I, I respect that. Thank you. Thank you. Stephen A., fair to say that the uh, NFL, excuse me, is a reactionary league? Yes. Yes, so hopefully maybe there's some reaction from these, these other leagues. Maybe they'll, as well. maybe maybe they'll learn to copy the policy, NFL. Right? Yeah, maybe so. All right. Up